I love social media, but it's a it's a double edged sword, mm -hmm. and you get all these knobbers on there, right? Stood in front of Lamborghinis, going, "Look how successful I am." I, I know a lot of these people, and they're full of shit, right? They, they either don't own a car, or you know, the ones that are legitimately successful have worked their ass off and, and worked hard, and most of them are pretty humble. But young lads and, and young girls look at that and they look at this woman who's been photoshopped with fillers in and filters on and all this and they think they have to look like that to be happy. And lads think they need to be earning 100 grand a year driving Lambos to be successful. It's bullshit. But it's in your face 24-7 with Instagram, TikTok and all this crap. And we, the world pedestalizes morons nowadays. Mm -hmm. Like you get some clown that goes on a reality TV show, right? Who's done nothing in their life, achieved nothing, but then they become a millionaire because they were on, I don't even know what reality TV shows there are, but they've been on something and then they get 2 million Instagram followers and all these young lads and young women look up to them like, oh, I want to be just like them. I'm like, no, you don't. Because, and I know some of these people too. And behind the scenes, actually, we're talking about depression. Some of these are actually legit depressed. Because it come that kind of tag comes with a lot of pressure. Well, they're pro they're not used to it, are they? They no. go on this one they show get, and it changes their whole mm. life. And it's, it's, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of guys that used to go on. I can't even think which one it was. One one of the reality shows. I think it was like Essex or something like that. Mm. And a couple of them killed themselves. And from Lo Love Island, that was it. Right. A couple of them are from Love Island when they got back and handle mm. it. And, um, now, why yeah, would you continue suicide. to air a show like that? Right. Where Carol, people Carol were and contestants Flack, and the presenter have all taken their life. Why would you continue to put that in front of the nation, knowing it is so bad on people's mental health? You know, why wouldn't you put something more empowering and educational in front of them to give them a bit of a, you know, motivation to pick them up a little bit to, to change their perspective? But this is, you know, you go into schools now and you ask kids what they want to be when they grow up and they say famous. And like, what does that mean? Oh, I want 2 million TikTok followers. I'm like, do you really? <laughs> do you know what I mean? You don't, you want, if TikTok went away tomorrow, what would you do? And, and I've seen that before. I saw a young girl years ago who had her Instagram canceled, who made a YouTube video and she was crying, right? Pleading with Instagram to reinstate her account. And you kind of felt for a little bit until she started saying, I can't get a normal job. I'm above that. And I was like, Pfft. See ya. <laughs> but this is what we, we encourage this kind yeah. of behavior with social media. It's like, yeah, just be, you know, be ex completely self-obsessed and narcissistic and film yourself everywhere you go. And then you'll be famous. And, and then if you're not instantly overnight, because everyone wants instant gratification, people get down about it. Why am I not? I've been doing it for 15 years and I'm nowhere near where I think I should be. The amount of effort I put into it and all I've been doing over the years to grow my social media. I'm doing it with a purpose. I don't want just people going, oh, wow, look at Mark. That's great. I'm, I'm doing it because I want to try and share my experiences and motivate and inspire people to have better mental health. You know what I mean? I just don't put a, I was watching a video this morning. I'm going off on one now. I'll go off on one when it talks about this I shit. I fucking love it. So do I, mate, go. But like my daughter, <laughs> she was watching a fully grown woman walk around a, like a sweet shop in America with a basket picking out sweets. This one was like 40. And she's running around with a camera going, hey guys, here I am again in the sweet store. And I'm like, you're 40. I don't, I don't why are you not like living yeah, a regular just, just life? Yeah. Thing, yeah. But I mean, I couldn't do it. I couldn't stick a camera on my face every day and f come up with something interesting to say. But the thing is, most of it isn't interesting. But kids, kids are the key. They watch it again and again and again. They tell their friends to watch it. And then everyone's liking, commenting, subscribing and making these people money. Do you know what I mean? And then it's just a, it's just a strange world where you don't, you know, back when we were kids, and I don't necessarily agree with this model, but it was like, go to school, work hard, get good grades, get a good job, achieve things. Mm. But now it's like, yeah, just get yourself through and get a TikTok account. I think people attach their own value to social media. Yeah. Does that make sense? So if they, they've not got many followers and they want more followers, if they can never really get those followers, they sometimes they really do attach them their own personality to this mm. social account and right. social standing. You know, sometimes <clears throat> people think they're better than they are because they've got fucking 10,000 followers. It's insane. And I think, you're fucking mad, mate. You, who gives a fuck if you've got 10,000 followers because you post regularly, because you do these things? It's like, just just be normal. Just just chill. If you've got 10,000 followers and you do like to post, that's cool. Yeah. But 
don't make it all like that's not what you're worth you know what i mean mm -hmm. that's not your actual worth i think the struggle Doesn't is make you back. i think the struggle is though that there is money to be made in it now you oh ridiculous I mean? amounts of money and I think, yeah, so there, there, so there is some legitimate value in it. But I think there's a big difference, though, doing it for a job. Like, yeah. A actively looking at it, it'd be like, right, we can exploit something here to earn yeah. some money. Or there's um, attaching your own self-worth. Yeah. Well, you know I think I mean? this is the difference. And, and Mark mentioned it a second ago. And hopefully we're, we're trying to achieve this as well. But it's, it's when you do it with purpose. Right. So when you do it with purpose and you're trying to help people and make a difference. And then you get that recognition and maybe the financial reward is a... Is a as a sort of secondary result of that I think it's when people get that success and they fucking know somewhere deep down that they've done fuck all mm. <laughs> like yeah. and that's when it probably eats them yeah. up inside mm. to some extent but I think as well like you made a point a second ago um, and you mentioned perspective earlier mm -hmm. and I think we're a similar age so I grew up in, in the city <clears throat> in quite a deprived area I think at one point it was one of the most deprived areas in the country and everyone was fucking poor mm -hmm. but there was no social media Right. So ignorance was bliss. Right. So I was poor, but everybody was fucking poor. Yeah. I didn't know how the other half lived. Mm. So I was just in my little bubble, out stone fighting, mm -hmm. running around, playing tag, whatever we did. Whereas I think now, like you say, if people are seeing it online, and especially if all these fucking people are on their fake and presenting this this life that isn't even real, mm -hmm. you know, you get the, if, if I think back to where, where I grew up and how I grew up, if, if I could see all that shit now that kids see, mm. yeah, I think I might struggle a little bit. Mm. Thank <laughs> you.